How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to do a repair on this 2010 MacBook Air. The battery on this is only about 50% capacity. So we are going to do a battery replacement. It's a pretty easy job, but we're gonna go through it step by step so you can see how easy it really is if you are having these battery issues you could do this yourself. Anytime you're doing a repair, be mindful that you could hurt yourself, you could you could burn some stuff down and do it at your own risk. So before we get into the video, I wanna show you exactly how to check battery cycle counts on a MacBook. You're gonna hold the option key right here. I'm holding the option key while I go to the Apple. Then I'm going to click on system information. If you don't hold the option key, it's going to take you to a different screen. So make sure you are holding that option key down. Then you're gonna go down here to power. And then here we can see our charge cycle count. It is at 1108. And it says our battery condition is normal and our full charge capacity is 3200 milliamp hours. Although it says the battery condition is normal, it's the battery is working fine for its capacity, but it's about half capacity of what it originally came with. So this computer after 10 years is about half battery capacity, which is actually pretty amazing. Right here, the battery condition may change to replace now if it's really, really bad or it might say requires service. Apple says that the battery should last at least a thousand charge cycles. This has already worked beyond its design time, which is actually really, really awesome for a 10 year old battery. One more thing I'm gonna show you guys is this app called Coconut Battery or this program called Coconut Battery. Battery. Don't know if you can see that, but we'll have to zoom in. It gives you a little bit more information about the computer. It gives you the charge cycles. It gives you another battery status, and it gives you the design capacity versus the current capacity. The current capacity is a little under half of the design capacity, which was 6,700 milliamp hours. And as soon as we put our new battery in, it should bring that design capacity up, bring those cycle counts down and just overall increase the capacity of this computer. I will put a link to that program in the description if you are interested in getting it. Anytime you're doing a repair, be mindful that you could hurt yourself, you could, you could burn some stuff down and do it at your own risk. But I'm gonna shut the computer down, turn the computer over and here, and we're gonna get working on this battery. So here is the replacement battery. This came from eBay. I got it for $29.99. This one did come with a T4 and a star screwdriver, which I think we're going to be using in this repair. I do have my 17 piece toolkit that I got from Walmart for, I don't know, seven or eight dollars. Well, I always have this on hand just in case I need another tool. I probably can get away with using this toolkit for the screws for the screws that are required to be removed from this computer. Uh, but I'll just keep this on the side in case I need it. But these two that it came with will probably be fine. But if you are interested in this, I will put a link to this in the description. They, it is available through a different private label on Amazon and I've recommended this toolkit for a lot of simple repairs. It's really nice to have. The first thing we're going to do is take the star screwdriver and start removing all of the screws on the bottom of this MacBook Air. So all of the screws are the same size except for these two back screws here. They are a little bit longer, so do take note of that. And we're going to lift off the bottom cover just like that. And while we're in here, we can clean all of this nasty up because this is absolutely Disgusting. We're eventually going to clean this up, but I don't really need to clean the battery that I'm taking out. So I'm gonna take the battery out first. And it looks like there is the battery pull tab right here. It's a little piece of plastic. You're gonna wanna lift up, grab, and then pull away from the motherboard just like that. There are a couple of Torx screws. So we're gonna switch that other screwdriver, the T4, and we're gonna remove one, two, three, four, five, Five screws. Three of the screws are longer than the other screws, and the three long ones are the back, the middle, and the other back screw, so when you are reassembling it, do take note of that. Now those five screws are out, we're just going to lift 
that old battery up and it came out really, really, really easy. And there is a lot of nasty dog hair in here, if you can see. We're gonna take a old toothbrush and we're just going to start brushing it, trying to get all of that nasty dog hair under the keyboard, crumbs. I actually took this outside and brushed it to get all of the hair and dander that I could get off. But I'm gonna do one more thing before installing the new battery. I wanna go, we're gonna come over here. We're going to actually clean the fan. So I said we might need the other toolkit and here we are. I'm using my triple zero Phillips head for my toolkit. I'm gonna get take out these two Phillips screws. I'm gonna lift off this little cable here to see if there's any more screws, which there are. There are a couple more. So we're gonna lift this cable off completely. I'm gonna take a little plastic spudger, lift that cable off. That's gonna go back, but we need to get a couple more screws off. Oh, I see more dust. The more stuff I take off, the more dust I get to. A couple more Phillips head screws. There's four in total on this little MacBook fan. And this is totally optional, but I wanted to get in here with my brush and loosen up any really nasty dander going on in here. And sometimes there will be uh, a nice ball of hair clogged. I was expecting there to be an entire ball of hair in there, but it's not too bad at all. We're gonna put that back, put the four screws back in, and then press down that little bit of adhesive and snap in that ribbon flex cable. All right, back to the actual battery repair. We're now going to take the new battery, we'll drop it right where the old battery was. It fits perfectly, super duper duper easy. Then we're gonna reinstall our five screws. It doesn't say whether to remove these or not. I'm going to take them off just because the original one didn't have any on it, but I don't really understand why they're on there to begin with or if there would be any complications if you left them on. I'm just doing it based off of this OEM battery. It doesn't have any plastic on it. All right, just like that. Now we're going to plug the new battery into our Logic board, you're gonna bend it just a little bit, fit it into that port like that. I'm gonna take this outside, brush it off real quick. We're gonna reinstall the bottom casing now that it's all clean and it goes only one way. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then remember the two long screws go in the back here and then all of the small screws. We're gonna go back to our proprietary star screwdriver because it is different on the outside and you do not wanna strip these screws. They are such a pain. So you wanna always make sure you're using the correct screwdriver on these. All the screws are back in. Let's flip this bad boy over and see what's going on with the battery and see if it actually turns on. Looks good that it's actually turning on. The manual says to discharge it to 2% before fully charging it, so we will do that. I'll let this computer run a video on YouTube for a couple hours, drain it to 2% and then we'll throw it on the charger. But I wanna check the uh, power and there we go. We're on cycle count one. Full charge capacity, 7,200 milliamp hours. So even more so than it originally came with. And then we're going to go to coconut battery down here. 100% of the 7,200 milliamp hours. So this now is an excellent condition. I can talk up that the battery was just changed in the, in the listing and I'll be able to get more of a closer to top dollar for this computer because it has a fresh battery inside of it. That is the tutorial. This should work for a 2010 MacBook Air. 
a 2011 MacBook Air. I think the batteries are the same and uh, I think they changed the design in 2012. So make sure to fact check me on that. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Shoot any comments or questions about the repair in the comments section. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.